it's me and today I am going to be doing my 27th video in my Christmas series aka hashtag the less is cozy miss but today I am going to be filming my 23rd video for my Christmas December videos I cannot believe tomorrow is Christmas Eve and then after that it is Christmas so for tomorrow's video I'm probably just going to vlog and in today's video I'm going to be doing a purple glam look i know this really has nothing to do with winter or anything but i just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys and i also got this really cool um mirror you guys can like see what's in front of me so this little baby is a uh light for a makeup light so oh and by the way if you guys like see this at any time that's my ring light. I no joke, just keep it in the corner of my room because I have nowhere else to put it. Um, but yes, I'm going to be using this little baby right here. It works so, so well, and it is very, very useful. So let's just get into doing my makeup. Okay, so I'm going to be using a new beauty blender and my CoverGirl foundation and my Wet n Wild um, concealer. This concealer works really, really good, by the way. So, um, I don't know, I don't think I ever told you guys this, <laughs> but I am on winter break, which is really, really cool and really, really lovely. Um, I'm really, um, excited for, like, the new year and to see what it's going to bring. I'm sitting here realizing I put a lot of foundation on, um, this sponge, but it's okay. So, um, I know some people started their winter break, like, a few weeks ago, um, or, like, just, uh, a couple days ago, or they haven't even started their winter break. Um, my winter break started on the 21st, because we didn't go to school on the 21st, which actually, it was really convenient because, uh... The 21st was actually the first official day of winter, which is really cool. Um, it's supposed to snow tomorrow where I live. I highly doubt that's uh, going to happen. That would be really nice if it did because I think I've only had one white Christmas. Um, but, yeah, I really just want a white Christmas. That would be really, really cool because um, I love the snow and I love Christmas, so if that could, like, be together one year that would totally be awesome um but you know the world does revolve around me and i can't get everything i want um so yeah i cannot believe christmas is already in two days it feels like christmas was just yesterday that is absolutely crazy so there's the foundation actually guys this is, um, like a little secret about me. Not really secret about me, but, like, secret about my makeup. I have bangs, so no one can see my forehead. So, I don't even put foundation on my forehead, or, like, I don't put <clears throat> makeup on my forehead. Because I feel like it's a waste of time, first of all, because no one can see my forehead but me, and I barely even see my forehead. And also... What's the point of waste your time on a spot that no one can see? You know what I mean? So I kind of think it's, uh, it's pointless. So, yeah, that's just my little thing. I do not put makeup on my forehead. Because it's unnecessary. It's really not needed. I probably should have done my face makeup off camera, but it's okay. I'm just going to put this in a couple spots, like that, like that. Then I'm going to do the um, usual triangle I do under my eyes, under both of my eyes, like that. Uh -huh. And down my nose and I'm going to try to blend this really quick because yesterday uh yesterday I was just playing around with makeup and I actually um did this look and by the way if you guys want to know this whole look is using the uh, uh, uh the Aurora Lights palette 
by BH Cosmetics, so that is what this whole eye look is. Um, that's the palette that I'm using for this makeup look. This makeup look is literally like nothing I've ever done before, so it's really, really cool um, that I'm like able to do something different. Uh, I really, really like this makeup look, though. It's really, really... Uh, it's really, really extra, but it's really, really cute. I really, really like it a lot. Um, so, yeah. That is also a makeup tip. Um, when you put on your concealer, um, you probably want to blend it as fast as you can. I don't know if it does that with, like, high-end concealer. I wouldn't know because I use drugstore concealer. Um, but drugstore concealer probably works just as good as um, high-end concealer. So, yeah, that's that. And sometimes, um, if my face, like, looks cakey or anything, I will take this foundation brush and just, like, go over my foundation with it and just brush and, like, kind of pat. I do pat more with this brush more than go like that, like swipe. So I just will pat a little bit just so it looks evened out and airbrushed. Like that. Okay. So now I'm going to like move my beauty blender to the side, put my um, concealer back, and. Uh, I forgot how I had this. It's okay. I'll just put that right there. Anyway, sorry guys. Okay, now I'm going to do the eyes. Okay, so for this, I'm just going to like split my bangs in half. Just so eyeshadow doesn't get everywhere. Once again, I'm going to be using the Aurora Lights palette. And I'm going to be using four shades, four shades in this palette. I am going to be using Vibrant, the shade Vibrant, the shade Boreless, I'm sorry, I probably pronounced that wrong, um, the shade Gleaming, and the shade Primastic. I know, I really said that wrong, but I'm going to be using these two purple shades, ooh, I just put my nail on one of these, Whew. I'm going to be using these two shades right here and these two shades down here so as you can, guys can see i'm using like all of the purple shades in this look because it's a purple look okay so first i am going to start with a flat brush and i am going to take boreless all over that brush like this and I'm going to just pack that on my lid so um by the way guys I'm using a patting motion when applying this I'm not rubbing it and I'm like keeping the um brush parallel to the ground and my brush is also vertical it's not horizontal like this it is vertical So just like that, pretty. I'm going to do the exact same thing on this eye. Literally guys, yesterday, this is what started this. I wanted to do like a winter makeup look because that's like what I wanted to, th that's what I wanted this video to be, like a winter makeup look. And then I turned on James Char one of James Charles videos and I just started doing my makeup and I did not follow anything he was doing. I just started with the purple and then I like just started it. So I said, I was like, uh, you start it, might as well finish it. Now I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to take the shade Vibrant, which is right next to Boreless. And I'm going to pack that on my brush and I'm going to go like this and just wipe this kind of 
in my upper crease, but also sort of under my brow bone. It's getting really close to my eyebrows. So I'm going to like just wipe it like that, like softly. I'm not going to be like hecka rough. I'm just going to softly brush that above boreless like that. That shade's a little bit more pinkish than purple, but it still looks okay. Well, it still looks good. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm just going to look kind of upwards and just gently brush on the color vibrant and like on this eye in the corner I just like lightly pat it so it will get on just like this pretty oh, I love this eyeshadow looks so so much I know it's kind of crazy and like you wouldn't wear this out in public but I mean if you're me then uh you probably would wear this in public okay now I am going to take this brush and I'm going to take gleam uh, no I'm going to take what shade did I use on here I'm going to take prismatic prismatic that's what it's called I'm going to take prismatic just like get that on my brush like that and I'm going to put this on the inner corner and like connect it to um, vibrate at the corner like this just like that guys just like that I'm going to do the exact same thing on my other eye so I'm just going to pat it and I'm going to try my best not to get it into like my actual like corner of my eye you know what I mean like we're the water is whatever. Also, guys, I discovered something on this eye right here. At least on me, that's where it is. On this eye right here, um, there is a little hole in your eye, in your waterline, your bottom waterline, and it is so so cool. And I didn't know that. I was like watching TikTok one day, and I was trying to find um, the the little hole on this eye, but it wasn't on this eye. It's on this eye. And I don't know why I think that's cool. I mean, I guess I've never heard of a tear duct, but I mean, it was just really cool that I have a hole in my eye. And then I'm going to take this um, smudger brush, and I'm going to take the final shade, Gleaming. And guess where I'm going to put this, guys? I'm going to put this on the outer corner, just like this. Just like this. Nice and beautiful. Oh, so pretty. There we go, like that. Um, now I'm going to do the exact same thing on this eye. Just going to... Perfect. Oh, so pretty. I love this eyeshadow look so, so much. Now, guys, since I am done with the dramatic eyeshadow part. I am now going to do my mascara off camera and then I will be back and I will be doing my contour, blush, highlight, and then my lips. Alright, I know I am not the only one who like feels so nostalgic when I watch Spongebob. I love Spongebob. Yes, I am at heart. I am 12, but at heart I will tell you, I am five years old. I love Spongebob. I, like, I just love Spongebob so, so much. Um, so there is a Christmas episode of Spongebob, and it's called Christmas Who. And, um, it is the episode where, like, Sandy Cheeks, um, tells Spongebob what Christmas is and, like, who Santa Claus is. And there is, like, that part in the episode where they, like, all send... Um, Letters to Santa, and there is that one scene that is so, like, close to me because it literally relates to me. Well, not really, because I don't speak Portuguese, but this one character says, I hope Santa can speak Portuguese, and I just, like, remember that the other day. I was like, oh my gosh, you need to find this episode when it comes on. It comes on tonight. I'm going to watch it, definitely. So, I just wanted to tell you guys that. Um, I also have another thing about Spongebob, but let me contour my cheekbones, and I will tell you guys that.
So, the other thing about SpongeBob is um, that the SpongeBob Christmas special, um, where it's like not SpongeBob's normal style of like how he, how the characters look and how SpongeBob looks, is it like how it normally is? Um, but I love, like, the song at the end. I watched that um, last night. I watched that episode last night. Um, and it's literally the cutest thing. The song that they play, like, towards the end, um, Don't Be a Jerk, It's Christmas, in parentheses. That song is so, so cute. I, like, keep on listening to it. And that song is, like, it's for real iconic, I will say. Um... My 49ers lost today, um, which really sucks, but it's okay because they won two weeks in a row. They won last week, and then they won the week before last, so it's okay. We don't, no one wins at everything, so it's okay that they didn't win, but it would have been nice if they could have won. Um, now I'm going to do my highlight. Um, I love my highlight to be, like, out of this world control, like, out of control, like, oh. It just makes me so happy when I just, like, look at myself in the mirror and my highlight is, like, boom, in your face, like, blinding, like, I need to go to the doctor and, like, get glasses or something because, like, I know when you're blind, like, you can't get glasses, but I'm just saying, like, this will make your sight, like, be gone, bruh. Oh, so beautiful. I love this. Now, look at that in the light, though, queen. Look at that. Yes. Oh, my lord. I, ooh, you can see it on camera, too. It looks so gorgeous. My pet peeve is I hate when I forget to highlight my nose. Oh, yes, queen. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Work, 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 work. For real. Okay. The last step is, well, the second to last step, actually, is lipstick. This is the LA Colors Matte. And it is in the um, color Stay Put Plum. So I'm just going to apply this to my lips. I don't understand when people say they can't apply lipstick. Like, when people say they can't apply red lipstick, why is it so hard to put on lipstick? Or why is it just red? Why can't you be... Why can't it be hard for some other lipstick? Why, like, why red? I live for this makeup look, let me let me just say. Ooh. Okay. This look is so beautiful i'm going to show you the final like product in the ring light so you guys can see like how it really looks all right beauty so this is the finished look i'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so here's the finished look i love this look so so much here are the eyes like my eyes closed i love this look so so much and i definitely recommend you guys to do this look at home all right beauty so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did like i always say please like comment share with your friends follow me on all my social medias go and check my last main video it'll be in the description box down below it was a behind the scenes youtube tag and also if you guys want to click that big red subscribe button down below make sure you click that once you click that a jingle bell will pop up Make sure you click that jingle bell to get notifications from my channel every time I upload a video. I'm uploading every single day in December, December 1st through December 31st. And I will see you guys tomorrow when it is Christmas Eve. Bye, smooches. Mwah.